Hi everyone, this is Osan. Welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use PDF activities in UiPath. And for this tutorial, I have prepared sample invoice. So after seeing how PDF activities work, we are going to extract some data from the sample invoice by using regular expression. So first of all, we need to install package to be able to use PDF activities. So I click manage packages. As a default, we have four packages and PDF activities package is not one of them. So you need to install them separately. I click all packages and then I type PDF activities. So I need to install UiPath PDF activities package. I will select not the preview one because sometimes it can get buggy. So make sure that you are using or you are working with a stable version. I think you should avoid using preview versions. So that makes your automation much more stable. So I am going to select this one and click install and save. So here we go, we have installed PDF activities package and when we come to activities pane, let me show you first how to use PDF activities and then we can continue with PDF data extraction. So let me type PDF. Uh, basically there are two activities for reading PDF text. First one is read PDF text which is basically if your PDF is structured PDF which means if you are able to edit or select or click your PDF, that means it is structured PDF, you can use read PDF text activity and you can get the text easily. But if you are working with some unstructured PDF, which is not like this one, but it's like an image of something, that time you have to use some OCR technologies. It will be also one of our discussions uh, on future tutorials, which I am going to show you how to use OCR activities. But for now, you need to know that you just need OCR engine here to be able to read unstructured PDF data. So. If your data is structured, you can use read PDF text, but if it is unstructured PDF text, you should use this one. So let's try to read our PDF first and then we can continue with data extraction. And I need to select my PDF from desktop. I have selected my sample invoice here. So let me show you the output of this PDF read activity. Let's use right line and basically I need to define here uh, some string variable for getting this text from the PDF. Create a like a PDF text, let's say. And I am going to just type PDF text here and let's run it to see if it is working or not. So let's check output. As you see here, we have successfully read our PDF file. And this is the easy part because you can easily get text from PDF, but probably you will need to, you will need some information from that uh, specific PDF file. So you are going to extract some data from this PDF text. So that means you are going to use regular expression with your automation. Okay, I'm going to add some regular expressions here. So let's say for this tutorial, I am going to need a text number of the company in this sample invoice, which is this one, I think, yes. So if someone asks you to get some number, some invoice number, invoice date or tax number, address or even content of the invoice, you need to use regular expressions to be able to get those data from that structured PDF file. For this tutorial, I want to keep it simple. I am going to get only tax number from this uh, sample invoice. So for this, I just prepared some regular expression in this regular expression site, which I also discuss about that site, one of my previous videos. You can check this one also. Now, if I want to get tax number, I need to use 
this regular expression which I created simply says there is a text number text and there is one empty character and after that there can be one character which can start with the numbers between 1 and 9 and after that there can be 9 digits which can start from 0 to 9 so if we don't use dax number text it also works but in case of any other numbers that can match this regular expression let's say there is some other company number or invoice number to avoid those uh, conflicts i am going to use this tax number text also here so let me copy it and when we get back to studio i am going to use is match first uh, to inspect that if there is any match with this text and this regular expression so let me type here my expression here and my text will be pdf text and the result will be boolean which means is there an image if there is any i am going to use this text to be able to get those tax number okay so if is there an image okay then i need to identify what are those matches so let's say my input will be pdf text here and my result will be collections because there can be one or more hit in my pdf text that match our regular expression so i am going to get all the matches that are in my text so jtlk tax number list why i'm getting this okay i need to specify the pattern let me copy it here and paste it here okay so for each we know that there is at least one match in this string so i don't have to control if this tax number list is empty or not because i know it there is at least one match in that string so i don't have to make those controls instead i am going to use for each and let's iterate this tax number list and finally i will write it down to console item to string so let me delete this one and run our automation i am expecting to see one match and only this one so let's see as you see here tax number one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and here it's the same if you don't want to use this tax number if you don't need this tax number text you can simply make some split operation with like let's change it to item split to string sorry split with what with let's say colon here and you can get the uh, second one so if you split this text by colon you are going to get this one uh, it's so obvious so let's type and three okay okay so i need to add this because it's a char character so i need to add this another mistake is that i need to put one not two so let's check the output as you see here the tax number is shown as we expected and um, we successfully get data from the pdf text by using regular expression so 
aim of this tutorial was to show you how to read PDF text and also how to get data from PDF by using regular expression. And I think that's all for uh, now and hopefully it will be helpful for you. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in next video. Bye for now.